And here we are again, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a good start into the weekend so far. Happy certainly seems to have just that. He got his revenge, if you want to call it that, against Kao. In the recent editions of the Show Cup and other tournaments, Happy was having quite some serious issues against Night Elves. But now, the late game counter expansion, that might be the ticket to victory. We'll have to see how that one transpires. If Happy should move on into the playoffs, then uh, the chances of meeting more Night Elves there are pretty high because we have three Night Elves qualified for that already. Lawlight, Colorful, and Moon. Thank you, Slylan, with the first time sub. Welcome. And also thanks to Matthew Devonport and Gary8810. Let's take a look at the grid real quick. We haven't done that so far today. Group A, we had 1 to 0 and Infi making it through. Colorful and Ling, Group B, and Group C saw Lawlight and the Moon. Super stacked, by the way. Uh, the names, the caliber of these players is really insane. And today, if it should be Happy plus anybody else, I guess, it's going to be just tons of legends meeting here in the uh, round of eight, which is going to start tomorrow, by the way. We're going to have the quarterfinals tomorrow. And we got some sick matches there already. 1 2 0 versus Lin. Infi versus Colorful. Ooh, baby. And then the other two players against Lawliot and Moon. All right. And now we are ready. Happy versus Fly. Here we go. Another edition. Fly used to be Happy's kryptonite for quite some time, especially before the days of Farseer Headhunter. But Happy has tremendously improved his matchup against Orc. Happy looked uh, very solid in his first game. Fly had a few shaky moments. We'll see now who fares better here. It still seems to be Happy's weakest matchup to this day. His Unit versus Orc. But uh, yeah, like I said, I think he improved a lot. I think he's much, much better at it than he used to be in the Blade Master days. It also favors him more, the, the mechanics of the meta nowadays. Happy always tries to play for the late game, delaying a game, going for more creeping, relying on high level heroes. In my opinion, that favors the orc in case of Blade Master. But of course, if he plays Farseer, it's the other way around. Because the Fasir will fall off more and more as the game goes on. Our first map, Amazonia. Haven't seen it much, I think, in this tournament. The old Twisted Meadows was very orc favored. Nowadays, with new Twisted Meadows and new meta, I'm not so sure. I think it might be a lot better for Undead than it used to be. Turtle Rock also in the pool. I think that always has to be vetoed by Undeads. But then again, against Fasia Thunders, again, I'm not so sure. A lot of that knowledge is based on what uh, the matchup against Blade Master was like. We've seen some orcs at times try to play Blade Master against Happy, especially Lin. But basically nobody else. Blade Master is definitely very different. Ooh, Happy there. Almost struggling with the lasses, but does get them in the end. Farseer harassing very early on. Did he steal the tome? Oh yeah, he did! He stole the tome of health. The book of health. Yoink. But Happy got full experience, all the ghouls survived, clean creep. Oh, wait, hold that thought. Oof. That ghoul almost died, getting blocked there by his own skellies. That was a bit unfortunate. That was one slightly unnecessary coil. Forces are under attack. And here now come the headhunters. Happy wants to get just one creep here. The little apprentice wizards would be good enough. He wants to have the aura. With the aura, everything changes. Or trying to steal the last hit, maybe? No, doesn't quite get it. And that's level 2 for the DK. Chasing after the headhunters right away. Splitting the ghouls away from the DK. That's pretty cool. 
And with that, he might be able to get one kill pretty fast, or at least force that hunter to be very cautious. Items for happy. Very bad. Very bad indeed. What he wants to find is damage and mana. Thinking about attempting a surround. Oh, there's an Acolyte as well. Might be able to block. Yeah, this hit uh, should be dead. Oh! That one certainly is. And the next surrounded as well! Happy, very nicely, locking in two surrounds here and chasing down another one. Oh my goodness. Not another. Surely not another. Three headhunters died already. Fly in trouble right away. Whew. And Happy comes out swinging. Or comes out bucking. Out the gate like a wild bronco. Rough start. Very rough start for, for Fly. Dude, and he's got like no experience either. He gets that one. Thank goodness he needed it. Stole the Berserker. Oh, but that Headhunter dies again. Happy is close level 30. Had he gotten the Berserker, he would be level 3 already, I think. Or at least very close indeed. Yikes. One ghoul might fall. But then again, perhaps it won't. Only a single ghoul lost so far for Happy. He took out four Headhunters. This one might be number 5. With a bit of blocking though, Fly can try to save it. Happy doesn't quite have enough mana here to finish with a coil, so he has to chase. Fly could maybe try to set up a trap to save this headhunter. Oh, I tried to block with the peon, didn't quite get it. And the ghoul's creeping across the map at the green camp. That's level 3 now for Happy. Man! Happy is playing this so well. Is he going for an early slaughterhouse? Interesting. Delaying the Lich, and delaying the tier 3, in favor of a fast slaughterhouse. Oh, and we got the Dark Ranger. Okay, there she is. Another Headhunter dies. I think that brings the total tally up to 6 now? 5 or 6? Oh boy. Oh boy. It's rough. He gets us around the DK, but he's got the cloak. Oh my god, dude. Everything's going wrong. Ooh. Poor fly, is all I can say here. This game is about as painful as they get. A player's forces are under attack. Yikes. Shadowhunter second. With that, the late game not as strong as with a TC second, but at least you have more tier 2 presence. You don't have to be worried about getting creepjacked as well as much. Lightning oh, shield here makes things a bit tough for Happy, but it works out well enough. Is he going to creep the full camp? I guess he is. Rune Bracers, of course, not the best. Those will be sold later on. Oh, the ghoul. Oh man, this is uh, creeping on the edge. Fly creeping the same camp. For him, Rune Bracers would be amazing. Oh, and he gets them. The downside here, though, is the Fasir has to creep with a Shadow Hunter. So there's a lot of experience that is not going to the Shadow. So they're going to get level 2, but he would really love to have that fast level 3. Are under attack. The game has slowed down. Both players just creeping for the time being. The early game was quite bloody. But now a peaceful phase has started. Oh! Fly creeping the red camp already. Can he creep that? With only five headhunters? And the heroes? It's a very nice pull. That prevents the casting of the spells by the golems. That's pretty cool. This is the sort of play that Fly needs to get back to this game. Dark Ranger for Happy, they also got a lot of experience. Fast level 3 Dark Ranger is also pretty 
pretty scary. Medallion of Courage. Very good for the TC. Also pretty good for the Shadow. Thank you, Shadow Cat. Speaking of Shadow. With a 15 month resub. Most of the map now crept. Is this level 3? I think not quite, right? Ah, oh, no it is. Perfectly lines up for the level 3. Happy waiting for his tier 3 upgrades. We got Destroyers coming. We got Frenzy and the Lich. Oh. Ah, that's just illusions. If this had been Fly coming to harass, that could have been huge. It's not so easy for Happy to creep this. Taking a lot of damage on the ghouls. Oi. Oi. <laughs> Just barely making it work. Hood of Cunning. Decent item for the Lich and Dark Ranger. Not super amazing, though. Oh, replenishment cancelled. Cheeky. Level 4 DK reached very fast. And level 4 DK is a lot better than level 4 Farseer. Let me tell you. The Lich, though, in return, is going to be very underleveled. The TC's got some camps here. It can creep. We can solo creep these three camps. That's gonna get him to level two and a half. That's pretty nice. Happy found no claws at all. Ah, oh, that's because uh, this camp went to uh, fly, actually. So. Happy's heroes aren't that stacked. It's got hardly any damage. So the early, uh, the late game, I would say, not so much in his favor as we would see sometimes on other maps. And the TC's got level 2. This is not the worst position for Fly. The early game was a complete disaster. But, uh... If he holds the push, he's in a decent position, I think. 2-0 upgrades on the Berserkers. Armor upgrade is well coming. So important. Happy smorphing the Destroyers, though. This is certainly a scary timing. 64 supply for Happy. Ready to pounce. He knows which TC is the real one. Use the silence, but there should be an invuln. Oh! Perfect invuln. Gets out of the silence, stomps the ghouls. But it's only level 1 stomp. It's not that good. And the ghouls break through, going for the Berserkers in the back right away. They have one armor upgrade now. Next stomp. The stomps are glorious, indeed. But like I said, only level 1 and the Dark Ranger is level 3. So these Berserker kills get quickly turned into skeletons. And level 2 skeletons at that. Which is in a bit of trouble. He is very squishy, but the Invo Potion saves him for now. Stomp one more time. The DK is stunned. Happy's out of mana on the first hero. No coils anymore. Destroyer saved by the bell. Very nicely done, but flies back into his demise. And that was a fairly even exchange, maybe. Happy still comes out on top. He killed more, I think. But Fly needs a bit longer to climb back to 50 supply. Lich is still not level 2, so he indeed is very underleveled. And the TC is close to 3. Maybe, maybe Fly actually killed more. All the ghouls died. Happy probably going to transition now into pure fiend destroyer. And at that point, upgrades are very value. You see the first attack upgrade coming. Would love to see some armor upgrades as well. But Happy is quickly pushing into upkeep again. Oh, he pushes into the orc base with low mana and no TP. That would be a big risk. The statue, of course, is working away. By playing this very passively. Going for the third attack upgrade. His Berserkers are going to be super strong. 3-1 upgrades. Also getting reinforced defenses.
line now also pushing into upkeep. Happy's waiting for his reinforcements, bringing all the ghouls. He's got no lumber income left. If this attack fails for Happy, I think he's in trouble, right? But it's going to be a strong attack again. Full mana now on all the heroes, ready to morph. But Fly is in a position ready to receive. He's next to his burrows. Reinforce will be finishing soon. He's got more units coming. He is in upkeep. Could put a lot of peons in the burrows. And he gets off a scout. Valuable scout. Only 1-0 oh, unhappy. I think that's a pretty big mistake by him. Not going for more upgrades. If this attack fails, I think he's behind. Pretty sure he will be. And also the more time that he gives the orc here. The dangerous, the more and more dangerous this focus fire from the berserker is going to become. And Fly has the perfect position. It seems like there should be no way that Happy can push into this. Going for Burrow. Players' forces are under attack. He's running out of lumber. Three destroyers. Seven fiends. All right, that's it. Seventy supply. It's daytime. Fly sees it coming early. Oh my god, the damage on the Farseer. No even potion on the Shadow Hunter. He's almost level four. And the ghouls just get melted. Signs on the TC. And Fly's position is looking great here in this fight. Invo potion used. The Lich in trouble. That one might be going down, but no, the coil is there. Saves it. Happy's trying to kite away, but this, the damage is so sick from the Berserkers. And Happy is not getting to the Berserkers. Fly. I think in a very strong position here now. But the TZ's out of the fight, and that makes things more difficult. TZ needs to come back and be ready to land these stomps. Silence, no use. TC silence for the time being. The coils have to be used passively. Only now, the level up of the Lich. Very late indeed. TC, focused, in trouble. Right click, coils. TC survives, but now he's very hurt. All the destroyers taken out, by the way. But the statue's still standing. Happy, very low HP on the Fiend. And level 5 on the Farseer. Now more destroyers will be needed. Wow, what a comeback. Thinking back to that early game, how was this turned around? Pretty crazy. Happy has to fall back. And the damage on Fly is just insane. These Berserkers doing so much damage. 55 supply for him. Happy trying to steal something from the shop, but there was no invuln available. Happy had map control for a long time, but on the small map Amazonia, he couldn't even use his map control to creep. All the creeps were already gone. And now Fly has a big lead. Level 3 Chain Lightning, by the way. That one's gonna be quite powerful. Medallion, not on the TC, by the way, it's on the Shadow. Interesting. PC is now level 3. He's finally got the powerful storm, but also the skellies are gonna help out. The peons provide more skellies. TC now has the rune bracers. Beats the coil nova regardless. Still low HP, but he can still return back into the fight. He's got the invo potion to do that. The lich taking a lot of damage. Oh my goodness, the target fire. The Berserker's damage is immense and happy. Can't really get on top of them anymore. With the fiends, it's a lot harder than with the ghouls, and that's a huge stomp. That might be the storm to win the game. Lich in trouble as well. Immo Potion is there. He does survive for a bit longer. But the damage is too sick. The damage is too sick for Fly. Chain Lightning comes through. That's the hero kill. Oh, Immo Potion protects the DK one more time. It's so many Berserkers. So many Berserkers. Oh my god, the chain lightning. Happy has to call it. GG 1 0 lead for Fly. Nicely done. Dude, such a disaster of an early game. There were like six headhunters going down, but Fly still brings it back.
I think the map there really didn't do Happy any favors. Happy was stronger at some point. Happy had map control at some point. But he couldn't really creep the map fully and get all those items and get further ahead, you know. There's not many, creep many creeps to begin with on AZ. Dark Ranger first. Maybe not the right choice. Maybe Dark Ranger second, I mean. Dark Ranger second. Maybe Lich second is better. The Lich being underleveled was definitely a big problem there. And Fly. I guess I counted him out too early. I thought he was going to have a tough time today. But he might be finishing in first place. It's not over yet though. Happy could still turn this around. Wouldn't be the first time. But Fly is one map away. From winning the group. Second map, Echo Isles. Normally Happy vetoes these small maps. Almost always. But not here. Echo Isles also very good for fast expansions. But Happy usually never, ever, ever, ever plays fast expo against Orc. We've seen it by him done before in the mirror. And against Human. And against Night Elf. But never against Orc. Is Fly playing Blade Master? He is, right? Old school Blade by Fly. Okay. Oh no, wait. What's this build? Okay, Farsia Grunt into Headhunters. A pretty late war mill, but okay. Lich first! Wait. Is he expanding? This build by Fly on paper looks really good against Fast Expo. Farseer and Early Grunt, super good against fast expansion. Oh, this might get weird. This might get weird real quick. Doesn't see a shop, so he must know it's a Farseer. Happy's gonna stick around to double check. Wait, what? Farseer's going south. He's gonna fast expand. What? Good Acolyte Scout by Happy. I'm so confused. I am confused. Alright, Happy's playing the fast expansion. I have literally never seen him do this against Orc. And I have seen a lot of Happy games in my day. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I have no idea what to expect with this kind of an opening. Oh, beautiful lightning shield creep here by Fly. If he gets the last hits, which can be tough. Oh, one was denied. Second one was denied. Yikes. Okay. Oh, and the Shadow Priest stolen. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not <laughs> that's not good. Uh-uh. That's not good for Fly. Oh my god, he dies to one Nova. Ooh. Oh my god. Well. This is looking a bit problematic, folks. Duel's joining as well. The Shadow Priest, he can dispel the wolves. Useful. At least the Farseer survived. That Farseer was close to dying, bro. Forces are under attack. So is the Grunt. Not quite denied. And the Lich takes some damage, but does get away. And Happy's expansion is coming. Rough. Wait. What, what's the item? Wait, where's the item?
Huh? Maybe Fly destroyed it in order for the Lich not to get it. I didn't quite see that. But this game seems to be looking very good for Happy, if you ask me. Fly still didn't tech, by the way. He's trying to get that expo started. Peons here. But oh boy, that was painful. Happy's expansion is about to be mining in just a sec. Does Fly have the window to get the cancel? I don't think so. We'll see. Happy creeping in the meantime picks up his own level 3. Spamming that dark ritual to get a good amount of mana again. Ooh, Claus plus 9. Hallelujah. And Fly sees the expansion is too far along. He can't get the cancel. But he can try to kill some ghouls. That's the one. Oh, he needs to pop his throw's speed. One more Nova would be his end. Happy's got a new Shadow Priest. Ready to do his pull. And more importantly, heal. Thinking about buying an item? Yeah, Telly Staff. Okay, tech starts for Fly. Happy's tech slower, in fact. But of course, his expansion ready much, much, much sooner. Going for Necropolis as well. Wants to be able to remake Acolytes if needed. Should be a graveyard coming as well, right? Yeah, okay. Transition to Fiends. Should begin soon. Second Crypt and all that. And Lich is very strong now. The level 2 Nova, such a big danger against these Headhunters and Berserkers and everything else. Shouldn't fly up TP'd here. Ah, maybe couldn't have saved them anyways. Abby he doesn't even have boots yet. And whew, nice saves. Two Headhunters barely get away. And uh, three headhunters. Okay, very good saves. By trying to harass a bit more. And he's got the tele staff to get out. Oh, okay. Didn't want to risk it. Had to use the TP in the end to evacuate. Alright, the expansion is finally mining. It took some doing. But now it's ready. Harry's got a lot of lumber, by the way. So going tier 3 will be no problem for him. I'm very surprised that he didn't go for boots. Normally with Lich first, you always want to have boots. Is he going for a tavern hero, I wonder? Fly again in the middle of the map. Gotta make a choice soon. Happy now playing this pretty passively, just continuing to creep up. On level 4 is really where the Lich starts getting crazy with a level 2 Dark Ritual. Got the Fiends coming, DK, tier 3. And I would imagine soon also Slaughterhouse. Very nice base build. Necropolis can be far forward, that thing's tanky. Soak up some damage, towers behind, shot behind. Pretty much perfect base build here by Happy, I think. Fly got one heal scroll, but that only covers one Nova, probably. And of those Novas, there will be many. A player's forces are under attack. It is the TC second, it is the tier three as well. Equiles, of course. Very small map. Not many creeps. It's very hard for second heroes and especially third heroes to creep. And Happy's continuing to play it passive. 
If he had been more daring, he could have tried to creep the marketplace, but no. That one freely goes to the orc. It's going to be level 2 for the TC. And Lich is taking a lot of experience away from the DK, who normally wants to be at least level 2. Double slaughterhouse by Happy, I like that. Can go quickly into lots of statues and destroyers. Maybe even A-bombs, although that's not really the norm. Oh, Farseer! Oh, the staff is too late. The Farseer dies on level 4. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so much experience. Yikes. Mega yikes. DK level 4. Ring for him is actually really good. He's surprisingly squishy when he's not played as a first hero. Oh, that Farseer loss hurts a lot. Tier 3 is about to finish. Happy doesn't have too many items. We're just gonna pick up one important one here in a second. The orb of corruption. Oh, he's playing this so passive. Just expanding, defending, and creeping on his side. Double ring. Honestly, good for the DK. Especially considering that there's no frost armor. Alright, here we go. This is the big push by Happy. He's bringing the ghouls. He's gonna pick up a third hero. Looking at some items at the shop. Not buying anything. Wand of Illusion would have been really, really good. But wasn't available. DK also close to three. That's a big one as well. Not too many upgrades on the fiends. Would love to see more there as well. Fly has 2-0. On the headhunters, which are soon to be berserkers. But Happy's got a 20 supply lead. We got the Dark Ranger in as well. And that's a scary army. That's a scary army. Fly, can you hold this? I am a bit worried. PC breaks through silence. But the Kodo Beast goes down right away. It's level 3 on the DK. A lot of damage now missing on the orc side. The ghouls go down quickly once again. And the fiend's also taking quite a bit of damage, but this lich is still a beast. But like I said, no frost armor. Signs again on the TC. This time he doesn't have an invo potion to break through it. Or to use it for survivability. Oof. TC extremely hurt. Has to be healed up now with the self, but he's out of the fight for a long time. And I think Happy now wins this fight pretty easy. With the TC not being a threat anymore, it is easy cleanup time. And the Fasir himself is gonna die the second time. And this game's over. Happy's gonna equalize with the fast expansion, fast expo against Orc. I've never seen him do that before. But it worked out very well here. Lich now level 5. That is game. GG. So we're going to have the decision on map 3. Who's going to take first place? That was a very unusual game indeed. And that fast expansion, normally unheard of, with the exception of Echo Isles, the one map where it is doable, I would say, against Orc.
Here, it should be a different story. This should be Farsia Headhunter standard again. Against the DK Ghoul build. Is he fast tacking? Ah, no. Not exactly. Pass here. Headhunters. It is a standard game here on map 3. And Last Refuge, finally a map with a lot more creeps to go around as well. Happy confirming his suspicions with the Acolyte. Trying to block, maybe. Fly doesn't want to waste his time on the Acolyte. He knows running it down and killing it would take too long. Oh! Look at Happy. Sneaky, sneaky. Heading south. Oh, there's a critter here. Happy! Oh, you missed the rabbit. He wants to go creeping away from the Farseer. Interesting. Oh, he missed the rabbit. This is new Last Refuge. An old Last Refuge that didn't used to be a critter here. I think Happy may have kind of forgotten about it. Oh, and now Fly realizes, wait a minute, he's somewhere else. Oh, Happy! With a smart creep route. This might only work once, though. Because now, everybody knows. Claws of Attack. The first of possibly many. Look at the fuss here, it's just, it's just running around and he's scouting everywhere but in the one spot where Happy is. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad for Fly. He wasted so much time. And Happy is still not found. Oh, 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 oh. Big yikes. Big, big yikes. A player's forces are under attack. At least finally, Fly can creep something here up in the north. Creeping the green away from the opponent. Finds the claws himself. But Happy got level 2 uncontested. Uncontested! With full mana. Oh, whoa, whoa. That is so bad. That is so bad for Fly. I don't even have the proper vocabulary to explain it. Oh, when Happy sees the greedy attempt of the Murkamp creep. Oh my god. Dude. This game is just going from bad to worse for Fly. He's trying to creep it? Are you kidding me? Alright. Creep camps being woken up everywhere and snares flying. Including one onto the headhunter. That one's dead. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Alright, one who goes down. That's level 2 on the farce here. But Happy gets a second kill against the headhunter. Trying to surround something. Okay, two for two. And indeed, a third ghoul's gonna go down. So, Fly is finding some return kills. So, he's, he's uh, making this game more playable. Flies not out of the woods yet. It's gonna be the fourth ghoul going down here, right? Deny against that headhunter. Oh, but it's another surround. 
So many losses, I can't even keep count. Both players losing a lot of units here. These two ghouls seem to get away. Tier 2 about to finish. Question is if there's enough lumber for Happy. Which there might not be. A lot of ghouls, of course, were used here in this attack. Oh, is he going to go Dark Ranger again? He might, just to keep up the pressure here. A player's yeah. forces are under attack. We get quite close now to level 3. He needs only a few more kills. And, whoops, misclick. So tier 3 and also statues are delayed by a long time for Happy. One White Hunter dies though, and that's now Death Knight almost level 3. And this time, despite the Dark Ranger second, Happy doesn't have to be worried about an underleveled Lich, because on this map there's tons of creeps. Oh, and that's level 3. That's big. Headhunter goes down Here, thanks to the claws. Happy now finally starting his tier 3. Is not gonna have many ghouls at all available later. Oh, Happy would love to steal the item here, but he knows he can't really. Fly isn't gonna allow him to. Black Ranger is putting in a lot of damage. Headhunter goes down. Yikes! That was again a lot of headhunter losses. But on AZ, Fly was able to bring it back despite those losses. Perhaps he can do the same again. Happy now gonna begin creeping again with a new Rod of Necromancy potion of mana as well. One of the wind is a very good item for fly if you can use it well. Especially to disable the DK or maybe even a Dark Ranger. Disable the Dark Ranger and ensure that the stomp lands, for example. Can be really good. Oh, but here we go. Happy with the big mana potion. Didn't even need the small mana. Bit of a waste, but whatever. Forces are under attack. As tier 3 is finishing soon. A bit faster for Fly. It's creeping pretty quickly now. A lot of experience on the Farce here again. Root Bracers again. Very good to find. When Happy trying to snipe the Red Camp. Quickly. If he gets this one, he might be able to try to get both Red Camp drops. Use the mana potion just to be sure. Picks up the item. Claws plus 12. Ooh, baby. And remember, on AZ where I said Happy didn't really get much damage items. It's going to be quite different this time. I wonder, can Fly try to be greedy maybe and go for a tiny Great Hall? It would be very risky. Very risky. Happy could pounce with the Ghoul Frenzy timing at any moment. In fact, the upgrade is coming right now. As Lich is joining in a moment, it will be able to partake in the creep game. And there's lots of creeps still left here in the top left. Fly's in the bottom right. He's got a way less bounty to go for. Happy's in a much, much better position here. DK about to be 4, Dark Ranger about to be 3, the Lich gonna start creeping right away. Happy has a big lead here. Elf Giant Strength is okay. I think you should put it on the Lich. To try to make him more sturdy. There's an Invuln on the Lich as well, that's gonna help him. 
gonna pick up some tomes. And the DK gets four. And Fly only going for the tiny green camp. Gets the Farseer to four, but the TC isn't level two, and that's a big deal. Every level on the TC is a big upgrade. But on level one, he's not that impressive. Are we gonna see a fight now? Flies in a perfect position to receive these ghouls. So happy he doesn't wanna give him too easy of an engagement here. Both players respecting each other, but now it might be time to go in. There we go. Wand of the Wind also found by Happy. Fly. Wait, where's his wand? Am I crazy? Didn't he have a wand earlier? I think he sold it. TC now lands the stomp, but the damage is done. Fly already suffered some losses to TC. Low HP, but Invo Potion's there. He's gonna survive. And stomp is ready. But also, Mer Berserker's falling. Level 2 Black are all very strong, but the Dark Ranger also out of mana, but Happy has more coils to use. A lot more! With that mana potion specifically, he can sustain here for a long time. TC finally got level 2, now we got the Aura. And a lot of skellies on the ground. TC got some good items to survive with, but maybe not good enough. He is there, he has to run. Fly is trying to escape. Happy doesn't have Nova anymore, so... The orc forces should get away for the most part. That's also a win for Happy. If Fly retreats, Happy's gonna get the red camp and also the corner. A player's forces are under attack. It has to use the stomp to try to save the rest of the army, but that one is also dead. Thanks to the coil, Happy's on the chase. He might just try to finish the game right here, right now. TC getting blocked. He's trying to surround him. It doesn't quite work out. Well, in that case, just go for more headhunter kills. Oh my god, it's a massacre. One headhunter dying after the next. The TC can't really partake. He's low level. He looks so squishy. I guess it's because we have plus 22 damage on this lich. And the Dark Ranger level 3. And now Happy can just pick off one target at a time. Easy game at this point. Blast trying his best, but without the TC, without the carry, what can you really do? Doesn't have too many Berserkers. The upgrade is also a very different story this time. Only 1 1 upgrades on the Berserkers. There's no way that Kodo survives. It was a shortly lived snack. And GG. And Happy takes first place in the group. Map 1, really well done by Fly. Despite a horrible early game, he had a strong comeback. But mostly it was Happy in charge here in this series. And I would say he deservedly takes first place in Group D. Fly still has a chance. He drops down to the lower bracket which is going to be the last decider game of the day. But our next match is going to be Sok versus Kaho. Lower bracket, round one. And that's going to come up in just a little bit. Quick break, and then we have Sok versus Kaho.